it looks like I have got very dark eyes, but <laughs> anyway, that apart. Uh, so what is this program about? This program is about three things, Nifty, Bank Nifty and Dollar. Why these three things? Because they are the most traded, most liquid, least manipulated instruments and the most predictable instruments which a retail investor can trade. Why do we think it's predictable? Because there are multiple data sources. One, there are charts. Two, there is open interest data. Three, there is FIDI data. What is the philosophy behind our analysis? Like I said, we don't look at news. We don't look at predictions. We don't look at, you know, China's GDP is going to go X percent in the next quarter. We don't listen to anybody. What we do look at is data and specifically three data, volume, charts, <coughs> open interest and FI data. Why chart and volumes? Because that's what the big guys are trading. Why <coughs> option chain data? Because we know that most people with a lot of money are option sellers. And most of the times when they're selling options, we kind of know, oh, okay, if the big guys are selling calls, market will go down. If the big guys are selling puts, the market will go up. And finally, FIDI data, FI is the mother of all big guys. They probably know what they're doing and they are likely to be right. So our underlying principle is let's not use our brains or do economic analysis or read balance sheet. Let's just blindly copy what the big guys are doing, right? So on that prelude, and I'm going to make it a daily prelude and make everybody bored to death. On that prelude, let's get started with Calagram market. Uh, let me share the window. So yesterday I was saying that, look, this is, so this is an hourly, so most important thing, hourly chart of 50. Yesterday, as I was showing in the, uh, uh, program, I said, there is some possibility of a dip. I had exited all my bot call positions yesterday, as I had showed in that verified screenshot, verified PNL, MTM, whatever it is called, you know, there's like a huge debate on what it should be called. You know, so. Whatever that thing is, uh, I had exited everything. And the reason for my exit was very simple. On the hourly charts, I could see a smaller channel forming. And now here's the thing, right? This hourly channel was yesterday near its top and now it's near the bottom. So it's kind of an uncertainty. But let me show you the daily chart for even more insightful stuff. See, if you look at Nifty's daily chart, right? This is Nifty spot chart daily. You can see that this is a bearish engulfing. Right. If you look at Nifty's daily futures chart, you can see that this is a bearish piercing. Right. So let me just connect my you know, drawing apparatus. So this is a bearish engulfing. Right. Uh, sorry, bearish piercing. Right. Why it's called a bearish piercing? Because the red candle starts above the green candle's body and extends more than the midway mark of the green candle. This is the definition of a bearish piercing. So, uh, oh wait, did I, yeah. yesterday, no, 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 sorry. So, uh, somebody thought it's yesterday's program. No, no, it's today's program. I'll say the date going ahead. This is for Wednesday, that is tomorrow. So this is bearish engulfing. This is not looking good. Now, although it's early to say, I'll show you one more thing, which is in formation, but uh, I'm not showing it to say that this is negative. So if you look at it, right, Nifty weekly candle, it is day two. The candle is not formed. You should not look at the candle now. But if Nifty closes below 18, uh, 300 ish level, then this will become a shooting star. But if tomorrow Nifty bounces up, the shooting star gets invalidated and we'll have one more green candle and it is going to be even more violent a thing. So this is for you to watch in the next three days, whether Nifty will actually end as a shooting star or will it bounce up, right? So, but as far as tomorrow's thing goes, there are two things at play. One is early charts are at the bottom, like I said, showed before, right? This channel, this is the channel we are tracking. Uh, sorry, it's like the drawing instrument is like a cluster thing. So in future start, there may be a little bit more downside left, but you have to watch it around 18300. There could be a bounce at the bottom of the channel. In spot chart, it has already reached the bottom of the channel. Uh, Sorry, I'll just draw this correctly. Spot we had formed much better. So this is the spot and this is the futures chart, right? I'll draw a channel, but yeah, 
so roughly there might be some more up, uh, downside left in futures right maybe another uh, 20 points if this uh, channel holds now if you look at bank nifty it came near the all time high and corrected from there right uh, and dollar is looks like it has some more upside maybe it will go to 8270 that's another 50 paisa 45 paisa right so that is the chart of dollar chart of bank nifty chart of nifty now sorry now so nifty is bearish piercing Nif bank nifty is red to the usdnr is flat and consolidating i'll just write that nifty is nearing nifty is nearing channel support in one hour time frame right now if you look at option chain data this is very interesting uh, the entire option chain has gone full reverse yesterday it could be profit booking because we are very close to the top of the channel uh, but like i said right it could have been a breakout also so if you cashed out some it's okay if you did not cash out any and if you're still long uh, tough luck but i mean it's very difficult to look at a short time time frame and uh, ignore the massive bullishness which is a medium term time frame right so 8300 was a support yesterday now 18300 is not a support 18400 is a resistance that's because we found this happening right today 8300 had some unwind but 18 so technically this did not happen because it was unwind here right it happened because 18400 has massive fall addition there so 18400 is a massive resistance very big resistance right pcr is 0 0.7 which is uh, neutral to slightly negative and if i option data if you look at it uh, if i sold no that's not going to be good if i sold almost one lakh right one lakh calls ninety thousand, and they sold ten thousand puts so this is very bearish and 346 crore uh, spot i mean futures is bearish interestingly in spot uh, that is in stocks they bought 1400 crore but this is not something you should look at if you're trading short term it's a long term trend and this is slightly bullish but net net it is a almost 80k bearish this is mildly bearish so let's write that out uh, sold 90k calls and sold 10k puts which bearish okay, futures data 300 cr sell slightly bearish okay, stock data 1500 cr buy bullish but then you have to ignore that bullish part because you know long term trends don't matter when you're trading two day expiry 1400 crores rather then verdict so what's the verdict watch the 18300 bottom of channel 11 if it holds we can see bullishness else it can go down right and my trade see the thing is this right so i so like let's go to verified by sensible so let me see what i did today so today towards the middle of the day i did short uh 18,350 as a spread. I mean, it's a tiny spread. But towards the end of the day, I exited. It's a very tiny trade. I did just for fun. Around 2.3k uh, profit from it. Basically, I sold 18,350 call. Bought 18,400 call as a hedge. You know, just in case. Then I covered it towards the end of the day. Uh, tiny profit. If I had done size, it would have been better. But I didn't want to do size because I'm not convinced about, uh, you know, uh, market uh, continuing to uh, go up uh, sorry go down right because see or let me just cut to the chase and give you the most important detail right if you look at nifty from a daily time frame what is forming right now is a bearish piercing candle if the bearish pierce so for bearish piercing candle to play out we need a confirmation candle which means that tomorrow's close to be 
has to be below today's close right so if tomorrow's close is below today's close whether you are looking at spot ka bearish engulfing or futures ka bearish piercing whichever way it is if the spot closes below today's close or a future closes below today's close day after tomorrow can be bearish right uh, but if it doesn't and if it actually goes up then what will happen is uh, this bearish piercing gets or engulfing whichever way you look at it gets invalidated what it also does is if nifty goes up today and day after uh, tomorrow and day after on the weekly time frame something else starts happening weekly time frame may whatever is now looking like a shooting star in formation i mean i know it's only tuesday but all i'm saying is you have to watch this uh, particular thing forming if this thing goes up nifty on wednesday and thursday then what will essentially happen is second i'll just magnify that shooting star you see this shooting star now right the last one right i mean i know it's not formed but what you have to pay attention to is if nifty is able to go down right then this shooting star will look like this it will be a red body shooting star and this will become a de definite negative thing if nifty goes down what it also will do is it will go below the covid trend line which means that uh, we are back in the bearish territory but if the shooting star is not successfully formed and if nifty goes up wednesday thursday friday whichever then what we have here is a green candle which will look like this right either like this or like this or something like this right what it means is that it has held the covid trend line what it also means is that this shooting star is invalidated what it also means is that it is closing above last week's uh, marubozu and above the top of last week's uh, uh, shooting star right so all of this if basically nifty is about if, if it's about if if it's able to close anywhere around 18400 plus this week then we can expect more fireworks next week but if it's going to close 18200 ish this week then this will become a shooting star this will go below the trend line and we might see a reversal and that no, might not end well for bulls right so long story short the next two days next three days will play out a lot uh, and next three days will be very critical towards what nifty is going to do in the next few weeks right uh, let me quickly read some comments no nothing much so basically uh, uh, so what do i want to do i i really 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 i'm not convinced about taking a trade even if you look at my trading size right now it's very tiny most of it is our put spread extremely low gamma like even if nifty goes down considerably tomorrow they are not going to be very impacted like you saw right like i had i was holding all these pets my intraday mtm swung by hardly some 10k on a lot of positions primarily because i chose very low gamma positions of next month right so despite the fact that nifty was down uh 0.6 percentage right so uh maybe wait for clarity it's not necessary that you always have to trade right the last few days have been extremely good for us maybe let's just take a chill pill uh, uh, and if supports hold then we will trade for breakout if they don't then it's very tough because see up the bullish trade is the easier trade to do here right because if it holds it will go to all time high very easy but if it doesn't hold i don't know whether 18200 is the destination or 18100 is the destination or 17900 is the destination in fact i'm kind of praying that market goes up for the simple reason that it's easier to trade if it goes up simply because there aren't too many resistances on the way right it will go one directionally shooting up and trended move is what always gives uh, people trading options an advantage right so yeah basically i i hope it goes up not because i'm long but i know whether you're long or short if you don't have a position also it's just easier to trade that bull market which will happen if this trend line is held right anyway so that is our uh, analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as usual please take care and keep your capital safe